what up YouTube mini hops here um so a couple things I want to talk about like pop news like I finally got five seconds off of deliveries to like check this out so R.I.P. uh Screech died right Dustin Diamond um it kind of is weird because he's 44 um uh, save of the bell um and I am 39. I've had boyfriends older than him. And he suddenly died of lung cancer. I will not lie. He was my least favorite between him and Lisa, but I really didn't like Screech. But fun fact, I like the character, not like him. So, um, he was the only person on Saved by the Bell that was on every freaking episode. There you go. And then he tried to do the little wrestling thing. Then he tried to do the porno thing. It got weird. Nobody liked him. And then supposedly he died of lung cancer. Like, boom, out of the blue, out of nowhere. It happened yesterday. He supposedly didn't even have time to suffer. But, like, what's really sad is, like, when I suddenly heard it. Because, you like, dude, I'm fucking 39. No person my age didn't grow up with, like, Saved by the Bell or, like, mm -hmm. like, uh. I don't know, it just hits home. Like, he's so young. And he was actually, like, the coolest right before he died, in my opinion. Just, like, talking to him and seeing how he was. And uh, so, R.I.P. Justin. Like, that sucks. Uh, Screech is dead, guys. On a slightly lighter note, but also talking about the afterlife. I was going to do a video about this earlier. I'm super stoked, you guys. I'm a movie nerd. Um, I love the Ghostbusters. I own Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Also, a lot of things people don't know is, so, in the original Ghostbusters, Peter Venkman, who's my favorite, favorite character in there, most people, uh, Bill Murray, was supposed to be played by John Belushi, but John Belushi went on, like, a huge binge, and, um, was shooting heroin and coke and, like, died before, uh, well, like, the, the script was complete, but he couldn't make the movie, and that's how Bur Bill Murray wound up taking his place, who I think did, like, an excellent job, and nobody else could have done it better, to be honest. Dan Aykroyd's dad was actually a ghost hunter, and that's how they were, like, so in-depth with, like, the EMF detectors and shit like that back in, like, when did it come out? 82, 86? I don't know. Back in the 80s. Um, so, yeah, that was before Ghost Hunters and Zach Bagan. They knew what they were doing. You know why? Because he was really into that. So they did Ghostbusters 2, and anyway, we all know. Uh, the chick Ghostbusters, I'm not even going to watch it. I wash my hands of it. Like, I would not watch it. I wouldn't watch it if it were a free movie on a flight from Japan to Timbuktu. You can keep that. Um, and that's why I probably bombed. Like, how are you going to do a remake of one of the best movies and just put in, like, five random ugly broads? Three. Whatever. Might as well. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. So now we have Ghostbusters Afterlife. It has all the same characters except for Egon, because Egon died. Not um uh the actor, like the actor actually died, not Egon. So we still have Dan Aykroyd coming back, is Ray. We have Bill Murray's Peter Bankman. And then um we have Ernie, I can't think of his last name, he's from LA. Winston, right? Who he was always side checked. Like he was like the token. He was like the one black guy, but nobody considered him like a big part of the story. But they're gonna make him more like efficient. But he was like official Ghostbuster. Kind of like if you think of the Beatles, there was like Ringo or there was like Pete Best. Yeah. He uh wasn't Ringo, which was Eon, but definitely he was a Pete Best. None of those are bad. So, uh, anyway, the story looks pretty legit. It looks like it's got the little kid who's not so little anymore from, um, what's that Netflix movie, the weird sign, like the kid, the girl, she eats the egos. Dude, I, I'm just, this is off the top of my head, guys. I'm, I'm trying to follow, uh, you know, the science one, the little kids, all the boys rode the bike, the girl had the ego. She, yeah, it's got... That little boy from there on there. Um, dude, it looks like it's going to be awesome. Here's the thing. All these people try to do these remakes of these huge movies, and they effing bomb. Like, you put three random ugly broads in it. Nobody cares about right? Like, but these are all the original people, except for Egon, which Egon's story is going to be talked about. And here's the thing. These dudes, they might be old, but, like, they're not going to fucking waste their time, bro, doing a movie that's not worth it. This movie was actually supposed to come out last year. And now it's coming out this year. 
uh, November. So who's going to take me? Who's going to take me? Um, somebody please take me to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, RIP Dustin Diamond Screech and, um, yeah, it's so weird, right? Anyway, uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I was going to tell you guys. This is why I should edit my videos. Um, <laughs> I'm going to think of it the second I hang up. I know I am. All right, you guys. Um, have a good night. Love y'all. Who's taking me to uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife? Please take me. Give me some snacks. Thanks. Swedish fish. Ooh, or like popcorn with, um, what do you put? You put the Sour Patch Kids in there? You guys ever do that? You bought that life? Or is that just like a St. Louis thing? Gatto? I don't know. We'll find out.